sleep? No. Nah. Try it again. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Babson. Can you say that again? Mrs. Babson. Good. And I have brought five things to help you learn a little bit about me. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you set? All right. Here we go. This is my family. And this is something that I love, 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 love. This is a picture from the summer of all of us at the beach. This is my daddy and my mommy and my big sister. Do we look alike? <laughs> kind of, sort of. And this is my baby brother. Does he look like a baby? No. Uh, no, no, no. This is my niece, Boykin, and my niece, Betsy, and my niece, Ellie, and my nephew, Charlie. And then, like we said yesterday, I have two children. This is Brooks, and this is John Allen. And I have another special person in my house. This is my husband, Mr. John. And you might be able to meet him sometime. He stays pretty busy, so he doesn't get to come to Hammond as much as Mr. Pound does. But hopefully he will. And this is my sister-in-law, Karen. And that is my family. And I love, 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 love. You love my family. The other thing that Ms. Babson absolutely loves, where do you think we are? Beach. It's my family. We're at the beach. Yes. Ms. Babson loves to go to the beach. And I brought some shells for you to see from my trip. I know, I keep these on my shelf. I actually keep them on my bathroom shelf to, so that I can look at them each morning and think, oh, I love going to the beach. So, love my family. I have a pretty big family. Love going to the beach. Now, there's something else that I really enjoy doing that I've been doing for a long time. This is a book. Oh, God bless it. It's getting kind of old, don't you think? You think I might need a new one? Uh, <laughs> I've been using it. Really it's getting really old. Look at this. It's kind of all torn, and some of the pages are falling out. Oh, do you think I might need a new one? I have been using this book for about 20 years, MJ, to teach Sunday school. And I teach Sunday school at Trinity Episcopal Cathedral. And I love teaching Sunday school. And this is my Sunday school book. And I keep it with me lots and lots and lots. And it teaches me all about how to teach all of these stories. So that is another thing that I love. I love my church and I love teaching Sunday school. This is something that I practice very hard at. Are you always good at everything? No. Yeah. Well, you try. You're right, MJ. You do try. You try hard. But do you always succeed the first time that you do something? Not always. Yeah. Not always. Yeah. So I love taking pictures. And I try so hard to get good pictures. Do I get a good picture every time? No. Or some people's eyes close. Do they sometimes, Clara, have a goofy look on their face? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you close your eyes. So we have to keep trying. But I love to take pictures and to take pictures of my family. That is something I really, really, really enjoy doing. But I have to work at it. I have to work at it. I have to take lots of I have pictures. a camera at my house. Uh, mm -hmm. And I bet Sybil has a few cameras at her house. I have a real mm -hmm. camera. Yep. All right. Well, this is about me. So here we go. Last thing. One. Two, three, four, five. That's right. I want to be sure I didn't do too many. I love to teach children something called yoga, Wiley. And yoga is something that kind of helps you get your focus back and kind of wake your body up. Yeah, it helps you breathe. And sometimes, just like when I was saying I get frustrated, sometimes when you get frustrated, you know what? It helps you just to calm. So 
So this year, I'm going to be pulling out some of these cards. I'll just pull one from the middle. Maybe when we're working on the letter S, we might learn the sun salutation. We'll definitely learn that one. But for today, stand up. We are going to learn a yoga pose. Stand up, Taylor. This has to do with the letter T. Anyways, pick up here with me. We are going to learn a yoga pose called the tree pose. And this is how it starts. You take a deep breath in. And you stand with your hands out, and you're tall like a mountain. Make your head, try to touch the ceiling with your head. Don't stand on your tippy toes, but just try to reach your head straight up for the ceiling. Not on your tippy toes, MJ. Now, you're going to take one foot, and it's going to be your root. And we're going to learn lots about roots before we know it in about 158 days. That's your root. And then out comes a stem, Clara. Clara, come on this. And then out grow your branches. Good job. Breathe. You have to breathe. You're right. Breathe, MJ. And I can't wait to watch y'all all grow into big skyhawks this year. I see it. Very good. Very good. All right, so that is, you can have a seat back down. Time out, time out. Have a seat back to Joy. I don't like those noises. Have a seat back down, please. I cannot wait to see all of y'all grow big and tall and into great Skyhawks and especially into great Crown Puppies. And that's all about me.